Let us understand how to find a point on a line segment which divides the line internally or externally. In this particular example, we are considering external division of line segment. The question is, if point D divides the line segment PR externally in the ratio of 7 is to 4 and O is any fixed point, then express OD in terms of OP and OR. Well, here's a diagram for you to understand. Now, in this diagram, we are given a line segment PR. Now, this line segment PR is divided by the point D, which is external, as you can see, in the ratio of 7, this is PD is 7, is to 4. RD is 4, so 7 is to 4. Now, we need to find the coordinates of point D. So, that is what the question is, right? I hope that's absolutely clear to you. Let's read the question once again and then try to solve it. Now, keep an eye on this diagram. It says, if point D divides line segment PR externally, so PR line segment extended and D is your external point in the ratio of 7 is to 4. So that is 7 and this is 4. And O is any fixed point, this is O, any fixed point outside. Then express OD in terms of OP and OR. So that is what we need to do. Of course, we know P and R. If we can express OD in terms of OP and OR, we can find the coordinates of point D. So that's the whole idea, right? Now, in such questions, what we should do is relate the vectors along the line segment given to us, right? So from here, what we can write is that we can write DR is equal to, now dr is 4 over 7 of dp, correct? So we can write this as 4 over 7 of dp, correct? Since this is 4 units and total is 7 units and vector we are considering in this direction. Now, what is op, what is or and what is od? Now what we can do is we can write dr as or minus od right so the vector dr can be written as or so like or minus od dp d to p can be written as op minus od Now we need to find what is OD. So let's bring the terms relating to OD together. Right? So first expand the right side. We get 4 over 7 OP minus 4 over 7 OD. And here we have OR minus OD. So let's bring these terms together. So we get OR minus 4 over 7 OP equals to OD minus 4 over 7 OD. Now that is 7 minus 4 is 3. So it is 3 over 7 OD. And here we have OR minus 4 over 7 OP. Now from here we can write what OD is, right? So OD is equals to 7 over 3 OR minus 7 over 3 times 4 over 7, so 7, 7 cancels, so we get 4 over 3 OP, right? So that is how we can find what OD is. So as you can see from here, OD, O to D is 
7 over 3, 3 is 7 minus 4, OR minus 4 over 3 of OP. So that is the relation which will give us the value of OD, right? So we get OD equals to, well, we can generalize this. So let me say if the ratio was M is to N, let us say this was M and 4 was N for us. Let's say the ratio was M is to N. In that case, our formula would have been OD will be M over M minus N. This is M minus N times OR plus. So since it is external, it becomes negative N over M minus N of OP. So in general, we get this kind of a formula. So from now onwards, we for an external case, we can actually apply this formula, right? So in these calculations, if we would have used general terms M and N, in that case, we would have got this formula, right? As an exercise, what I'll encourage you to do is, try to do this question in a similar fashion. Take 7 is to 4 as M is to N and see what you get. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.